Howdy. <laughs> hey, thanks for stopping in today. I'm Candy Michael, and I'm glad y'all are here. Today I'm going to be showing you some uh, cards with the Ride the Range stamp set, and uh, it's actually a bundle. And we have some nice dies that go along with it. So I put my hat on, put on my little kerchief, and I actually put my boots on, but I put them on the counter behind me here. See? I didn't put them on my feet because you wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> so thanks for joining me. Let's hop on over and I'll flip my camera around so you can see all the projects that I have for you today. A couple of fun cards and a scrapbook page that I just, I had to do it. And, um, and we'll get started. Thanks for joining me. Howdy and uh, let's go. <laughs> Hi, Sally. Hi, Deb. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to move my camera around, so give me one second. The hat for a rodeo. I love it. Okay, they do a camera switch. And let's hope I don't hang up on all of you. There we go. All right. Let's get this light out of the way here. So, I think I'm in focus, right? <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy you guys are here. I love being silly. It's a great job to have because I can dress up every week or anytime I do a live and I can be um, someone else or bring out some of the costumes and fun things that I have in the back. So thanks again for joining me. My website is candystampers.com. I'm in Ohio, north of just a stone's throw away from Columbus, actually, just north of Columbus, just a stone's throw away. And um, I am here today to show you some fun, fun stuff. All right. So again, the bundle is called Ride the, Ra Ride the Range. And I am going to show you this really cute um, easel card. So let me show you this, how it works. It'll actually stand up like that. And that is one of the cards. And then I have my second card here that will be um, kind of a fun fold. Probably some people would call it a Z fold, but it's a simple Z fold. And I'll show you how I put all this together on both cards. And then I have two other projects that I'm doing. I am gonna do a scrapbook page because I love my photos. Well, I love anybody's photos. And hi Trish, welcome. And I have to show you some fun things to do. All right, let me get through the products that I'm using as I'm going along so that I can at least name them and tell you what I have. So I will be using these star, stitch star dies, and these are gonna be on um, one of the projects later. And then I'm also using the Playful Alphabets. Again, this one will be on my, both of these will be on my scrapbook page. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna be using so we know I've got some basic gray ink and my early espresso. And, oh, later on, I will also be using our Star Designer Elements. Love these. And then, on one of my cards, I will be using the Pinewood Planks. Now, I do know that this is on clearance, not clearance, but that it's being retired. So, I, sorry, I didn't even check any of those things. But hopefully, they're all still available because you guys are all going to want everything that I'm showing you. I'm sure of it. All right. One of the things I didn't do was grab more blocks. So I got those in my hand. Okie dokie. So let's start first with my card that I didn't show you yet. It's my surprise. So I love photos. If, if you watch my lives, you know that I love taking pictures. So I have been having so much fun digging through my um, old photographs. So I had to pull out some old pictures that I came across that went perfectly with our um, Western theme today. So I'm using our Night of Navy cardstock and just, um, it's eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. And then I am going to actually put on a piece of our white cardstock. And this piece is a little bit smaller. Um, 
This one I did, I forgot to write it down. It's three and three quarters by five and a quarter, I believe. Yep, that is correct. So I'm gonna use this Glenda, hello, hello. And Sandy, gosh, you guys, so nice to see you're here, thank you. So let me get my glue down here. So this is our um, multi-liquid glue, our mono multi-liquid glue. Love this glue. You guys will see me use it all the time. And sorry, this is not white paper. It's very vanilla. I am so used to using white on most of my projects that I forgot I grabbed the very vanilla. So I have very vanilla on the outside and I'm going to put a very vanilla on the inside. Super simple. This is a really, really easy card and really fun to do for any of you, which I know all of you have a gazillion million photos like me. And you're always thinking, gosh, that's a fun picture. Even if it's like a flower or a bird, anything like that. You can do this with any subject. All right. So this is going to be a photo card, a card made out of or using a photograph so this was a very old picture of my boys. Again, I'm going through all my old stuff, so I'm finding just some super cute pictures. And this one, gosh, I have that light from above that's making this hard to kind of see. But, but I have just so many pictures and been scrapbooking. So this was back in 1995. That was when we first moved to Ohio. We moved to Cincinnati from Southern California. And um, this was, actually, I think this was their first Halloween, but I wrote Christmas time, so it could have been, but it was right around that time. But I'm thinking this was their first Halloween that they went trick-or-treating. But anyways, you guys, look at how simple. That is a card. All you have to do is get on your phone and print out these photos. I have a nice printer here that I can actually print them from home. So every now and then when I need a photograph, I'll just print them. But if you have a ton of them, you can send them out and have them printed if you don't want to use up your ink. But isn't that cute? So on the inside, using the same stamp set and going along with this um, theme, the Ride the Range stamp set has a lot of different stamps that would be very cute. So of course, you could send somebody a happy birthday or thanks, that's mighty kind of you. And or if they need a good luck, maybe... Um, starting a new job or something, you can always send them that too. But I thought this would be really fun to send. Are you ready? You ready what I came up with? A card that just says, hey. <laughs> See, it's a bale of hay. So you could send them a card that just says, hey. Or we could change it out and make it a birthday. <laughs> But I just thought that was so funny when I was looking at all of this and I'm like, oh, I don't mind a card that just says, hey. So I thought you would enjoy that too. So I'm gonna use our basic gray ink and I'll take the hay away. And I'm gonna make this into just a fast and simple birthday card. So don't be afraid to cut your photos and put them on the front and make some cute cards because your friends and family would love something like that. So there's a very, very simple happy birthday card using our Stamping Up cardstock inks and um, stamps, of course, and just some pictures that were printed long ago, long, long time ago. All right, so let me get this cleaned up and out of the way. And hey, we'll move on to the next one. I thought you guys would enjoy my humor, silly as it is. All right, so there's card number one. The next thing I want to show you is the, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the easel card. And I'm going to leave that little hay reminder right there so you can remember. Sorry, I have to get used to where my lens is. Apparently, it's not, I put it on the other side over here. All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do your easel card. This is actually so much easier than it looks. It's an easy easel. <laughs> Say that fast a hundred times. So I pre-cut a lot of this so that it wasn't gonna take me like hours to show you everything because I don't wanna take your whole day. I wouldn't mind it, but I wanna be mindful that you're all busy too. So 
Here we go. I have our Smoky Slate cardstock, and I cut out, let's see, I grabbed some paper from over here. So our DSP is called In Good Taste, and it's our designer series papers that has a lot of the wood grain look. And on some of it, oh, I know, I love this paper too. And on some of the other sides, they have like a tile look or a weave. And there's just some really cool paper. And I'm very, very happy to say that this is being continued into our next catalog. Woohoo! So I know we can get a lot of use. You, There's a lot of paper in this pack. Um, it is shown on page. I did write it down and I actually even marked my page. It is shown to be on page 148, and where's the camera? There it is, on page 148, and it's called In Good Taste. It's $21, but you do get uh, 24 sheets, two of each um, 12 designs. So this paper will go a long way, and I'm gonna use it for all my projects today. So I love it. All right, so for this easy easel card, what I did was I took a just a base piece. These are all my measurements, so I can share them with you. Um, on the back, <laughs> my cheat notes. But um, so I just took a base piece. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And I did that wrong, five and a half by four and a quarter. And that is our base. So this is this is how I did it. Now, looking at this designer paper, you know, when I first thought about making it, I thought about putting it all the way across the back. And then I thought, well, I could, that's wasting a lot of the paper because I really don't need all of that. All I need is for the sides to have the paper. So when I went back to really look at it, I cut these out one and a half inches wide by four inches tall. And I am just going to simply put these down. Oopsie. Gosh, you guys, I keep trying to figure out this lighting in here. Uh. So on this, you do want to pull it over to the side and I will have plenty of room because I did them a little bit larger than what my um, centerpiece will be. So you have some wiggle space, wiggle room. So then on this one, I'm going to just match it up, matchy matchy, and there we go. So this is how the base of our easel card will go. And so this piece, when it opens up and it goes like this, this whole piece here measures eight and a half inches by three, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. Eight and a half by three. And I am simply going to, I went ahead and I scored that at two and an eighth by four and a quarter. And it's very, very important. Well... I thought I scored it at two and an eighth. <laughs> One quarter. One moment, please. So I remember measuring it, but apparently I didn't score it. Okay, so it's very important because this is going to fold in half, and then it's going to fold in half again. So you do need to get that two and an eighth measurement. So... This is going to get glued on to the middle and it does go from the top to the bottom of your card. So again, it's three inches wide by eight and a half inches long, scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. So let's get this baby glued down and that looks pretty close to the middle. Hello, Catherine. Thanks for joining today. Okay, so here is the front of my card, and then I have the inside piece. So let's go ahead and work on the front. All I did was cut out, let me pull my post-it notes off of the back, so then I can read what I have here for you. So my inside um, gray piece here is two and a half by three and a quarter, and then my white is two and a quarter by three and a half. So it's just a, a quarter inch shorter, all right? These are going to get glued together 
And this is where you have to be really careful with, um, not this part, but when I get on to the next step here, when you glue it down, because you want it to be an easel card that's going to open. So that's not very centered, but ugh. now that's really crooked. Okay, we're going with the not so centered part. There, it looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, so remember when you go to glue this down, you only wanna put the glue on this area and it's a lot smaller. So you kind of want to eyeball where you're going to put the glue on the back so that it doesn't go up too high and glue your whole card together. Because then it would be a not easel card. It would be an easel card, not easel card is what I would call it. <laughs> so I'm going to come down and kind of border it into the middle here and then have that nice little border at the bottom as well. Wow, I put that white piece on really crooked or I cut it really crooked. I don't know, but I'm going with it, guys, because I want to te teach you how to do this. And then I'll critique my work later. <laughs> or maybe as I go along. All right, let me move this card over here and this one more in the light. Because I feel like... There we go. I feel like it's better in the light there. All righty, so next, what I wanted to do... And I'm only working on the outside. So I have a cute little... Um, the die cuts have a cute... If you call a fence cute, I think it's cute. So it's a cute fence, this awesome windmill, and some cows. Some clouds, too. Cows and clouds. Can you see the little clouds? Let me pull this up to the camera. Do you see my little clouds in there? Super cute. And then I also have a little embellishment in the middle there. So I'm going to just put this together. And I did already die cut all of this, so you guys didn't have to go and get a cup of coffee and stay awake. So I did already die cut it. Um, and what I found, and I even did stamp my cows and die cut those. I do have my cutter behind me so that I can do that. Um, I did, I did lay the cows down. So what I did to make it easier to kind of line it all up was I just put my glue here and then later went back and put it behind this cow, cow number three. So cow number one, cow number two, and cow number three. So that way I could just kind of pull this down and over and then go back and put my barbed wire in because, or I'm sorry, my fence, because I needed to kind of know where I was going to line that up. Oh, and I did cut this down on my original card. I forgot about that. So let's see, where did I cut it? Right about there. Looks perfect. So let's snip this down. And we're going to do a little snip on the other side as well. And now I'm gonna have pieces all over my table, but that's okay. So this way, this all gets kind of lined up like so. Looks good, right? eyeballing it always makes it the best because it comes out it is what it is so let me get a little bit of glue on here and hopefully not too much because we don't want to have that reaction that that's not good that can be very messy when you have the everywhere all right so this little guy needs to come up this needs to stay down and then you need to make it work and I just realized that this cow should not have been glued down because I have to put the windmill behind it were any of you mentioning that in the comments because <laughs> I can't see them right now it's all right look at how easy that is to just peel it back okay so now I'm going to put my windmill up and it will go you know really there's there's no right or wrong no just go for it. Just do it. If Dina, if you're watching, because I'm not seeing who's signed in, she's always telling me, just do it. That's how you're going to learn or make it work, right? So I'm going with Dina on this. All right, so you just need a little bit of glue, something just to tack that down. And then we're going to make sure that that's not floating off the card. And... There we go, perfect. 
Look at how cute. Okay, so I did die cut out some clouds. Make that go a little easier, putting those down right behind. Oops, that's upside down, I think. I don't know. Is there a right side up and an upside down to the clouds? Now there are, so that's how it goes. And then this little guy, my little tiny cloud, and a little bit of ink. I'm sorry, not ink. That would be glue candy. Yes, a little bit of glue. And then I have another tiny one. I just, on this die cut, it has two clouds. They have a big and a small. So when I did it, I just ran it through twice just to have extras. But you could do these cards really pretty quickly. Come on, glue. Oh, there you are. Okay, so this one will come up here a little bit higher. Little bit higher. Oh, I got glue on there. Hmm. I'll let it dry and I'll take that off later. So let's re-glue our little cow. Get it all set up. And look at the front, you guys. Isn't that sweet? So I used the metallic pearls and the little silver one to pop in the center there to give it some depth. Oh, well, I just ripped that apart. Um, to give it some depth. And I found it easiest if I take it off with my little scissors and then just place it right in the middle, just like that. Okay, that can go off to the side and my other cloud can go off to the side. So here we have the outside. Now we're gonna do the inside and it will be the part, lay down there, it'll be the part that makes the easel stand. So I'll tip that up so you can see. More like that. Very, very easy. All we need to do is make our tag and then once we make the tag, we are going to put some dimensionals on the back. And I'm going to do that right now so I don't forget. Because I need this to pop up. Oops, let me just take that off. So, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I know I am. Because it's create with me day, right? <laughs> it's candy. You know what Wednesdays are usually because... I, I come up with the ideas earlier, but then I'm such a procrastinator that I wait until the morning of Wednesday and then I'm running around crazy. So with that being said, like every table in this room is upside down. <laughs> I'm sure none of you do that when you have a deadline. No, not at all. All right, so this gray piece I am popping up here is my tag and it's two and three quarters by one and three quarters and then the white piece that's going to go over the top when i stamp is two and a half by one and a half inches so this will be a happy birthday and i'll open this ink pad up so i have my little happy birthday here and a block and i will ink that up with the um basic gray so I'm just gonna ink it and stamp it right about there. Oh, I did not do that. Ida, if you're watching, you would be cracking up right now. But you know what is really funny? I was worried I wouldn't get that centered and look, there's another piece and I can use the back, I know. But I had cut out two because I thought, what if I make a boo-boo? And that's probably why I did, <laughs> because I thought of it first. So let's try this again. Oh, much better. That makes me so happy. All right, so this other piece is going to be bye-bye. All right, so now I want to do my, um, what do you call it, horseshoe. I thought the horseshoe was kind of a fun little effect over the top. So I ended up stamping it off. You could just use a lighter color of ink, like the Smoky Slate, but I, looking at this, because I made this a little while ago, I'm pretty sure that I just took it and brought in a scrap of paper. Let's see, is that still gonna be in there? And just stamped it off a couple of times because it's gonna be pretty, um, pretty dark. 
and then we're just gonna stamp that right on there oh look at that came out <sighs> shoot I love it so now we just have to glue this baby on here and our easel card will be done so simple it's you know of course any of these that things that we make it's always the prep time right it's always die cutting everything but on these you could really make several of these cut them all out and have them ready and then just start doing an assembly line okay you all ready oops that little cow doesn't want to stay cow number two doesn't want to stay look there's our easel card Super easy, easy easel. And then you can do your signing here if you want. So I thought that was way too cute to not share with you. I love this Ride the Range bundle. It <laughs> it just spoke to me. I don't know. I, I like a lot of the kids' things, and um, I don't always have project and ideas with them. But I know that uh, this one will be retiring later on, and I just wanted to get... All of these things that I bought, I want to use them and I want to share them with you guys because I have all these fun ideas. Okay, let's go on to our next card. So this is, and then and then after this, I'm going to do a scrapbook page for you. Okay, so this card is Life is a Journey, Enjoy the Ride. Super cute. And look, there's some more. Hey. <laughs> so I'm going to simply stamp this. And I hope I cut this out in the right color. I don't know. My lighting in here is really, really weird today. It's, I don't know, it's super bright out, but I don't know why it's so odd. Maybe the sun's in a different area. <laughs> Maybe I am. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you. What I did was I used our Pinewood Planks embossing folder, and I ran it through. So I had cut my cardstock at... um four and a quarter by the 11 and then I scored it at uh five and a half and two and three quarters so then after I did all that again I ran it through the um pinewood planks embossing folder and now this will simply fold here and then fold back so if I wanted it to go that way there we go I wanted the planks to be on the outside the embossing piece, so when I did this one, it was inverted here, and I wanted it to be so that the, the bumps of the embossed piece would be on the outside. <laughs> Thanks, Ida. Okay, so this is super, super fun. All we're going to do is we are going to do a little stamping. I need to stamp my tag, and I need to stamp my horseshoes, and I've already die cut out my little... Um, windmill oh, had to think of what it was called so on this card I'm using our early espresso and that is what the cardstock is is also it's early espresso and I am going to I did not die cut these out early I thought I'm going to bring out the little machine and use it so we need two of these I don't think I cut them out oh no I cut them out on another project um, I need two of these and then I need my, oh yeah, my words. So we will stamp those as well while I have the ink out and I'm getting inky and messy because that's what crafting is all about. A little bit of ink here and there, never hurt anybody. So the words I used were very deep. Life is a journey, enjoy the ride. And I just thought it was really a cute saying. Stamping up, hit hit it on the nail with this stamp set. I love the words that they chose, and I just think it's really adorable. So I'm going to stamp. I can kind of guess where the middle is because I can't see it. So holding my breath, and not bad. I'll use it. <laughs> I'll say it works. And so then I can, oh, I have to stamp my little cowboy, my cowboy. So cute. Come here, cow dude. Mr. 
Mr. Cowboy. Let's get him right on this designer series paper. So this paper, again, is in the in good taste that is being carried over. And it, you guys, there are so many different patterns in there to choose from. It's kind of hard to narrow it down. But this paper is perfect for the stamp set. So if you love this like I do, and you can see all the fun things that you can make with it, you just have to have it. Oh, so adorable. All right, so he, I believe that is all my stamping. So on this one, let's go ahead and remove the ink so Candy doesn't put her hand in it. Not that I would ever do that. And let's go ahead and start assembling. So I have my DSP that I just stamped. And this piece is cut at, I know it's four inches tall, and I think it was three inches wide, but let me look. And that is really crooked. Oh, straighten up, Candy. There, okay, I straightened up, everyone. So that is, yes, it's three by four inches. Just, that's all you need because now you're gonna decorate everything over here, so it makes it perfect. And it's nice with the 12 by 12 to be able to cut it in the correct measurements that you can get more out of your cuts. So this is a piece of our copper foil um, cardstock. I think they call it a cardstock. It's not really a paper, but I cut this little tag that is super cute and cover and backed it with this. And this piece is, um, it's two inches by one and a quarter for the vanilla. And then I just cut the foil one eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. So it's just a teensy bit more, teensy bit bigger, oops. So now I wanna go ahead and glue my little tag on. Not the one that wasn't stamped. I want the stamped one. <laughs> I don't wanna stamp it again. And then you have to be careful when you glue this on because this foil is really slick once that glue is wet. So I'm gonna just set that aside and let that kind of dry. So next I will go ahead and position my windmill. Now on this one, I did not add the center because it just gave it a little more depth, but I can. You guys want me to add that in the middle? Just type in a little note, it needs it, or it's fine without it. I guess I figure I have a package sitting here. I may as well use it, right? Right, so let's put some glue on this and see if I can get this on here. There we go. Let me put this like this here and tap it on. Now, I think I needed that to go a little bit higher. Let me see. No, that's perfect. I thought maybe it had to go up higher because of the hay, but it's gonna be great. So my hay, where is my hay stamp? Hey, hay, where are you? So with this guy, I did stamp my hay also in the espresso. So that was the other thing I forgot to stamp. Do you guys ever just, well, I don't know if any of you do lives, but you ever just sit and think that, well, I'm sitting here kind of talking to myself, even though I know you guys are listening. But every now and then my husband's in his office and he looks over at me like, <laughs> if you knew my husband, he just gives me the funniest look. Like, <laughs> you're nuts, lady. You're talking to yourself and laughing. That's the funny part. I entertain myself, I guess. Okay, so now I am going to die cut these pieces out. I don't usually do a lot of die cutting while I'm visiting with you guys, but today I thought I'm going to bring out this cute little mini machine that we have because it is so adorable. And I wanted you guys to see it. If you haven't, and if you're contemplating on getting it, it is just a cute, cute machine. So it comes with your plates and um, your base plate, I should call it, and then your plastic plates, your cutting mats, and they're all numbered. So you can figure out with their sandwich which way it goes. So for my dies, it's very easy. I'm going to just lay this in here. I think you can see. And I'm going to cut out my horseshoe. 
Mm, hopefully that's not too big. Didn't think about that when I did this. I'm so used to just grabbing my scraps. Tell you what, I'm gonna cut the hay off and then do that one separately because that way I make sure it's not off. You don't want your dye to be off there because then it won't um, it won't cut. It won't have the even pressure. So this machine is just super super easy and it's nice. You can leave it at your table when you are um, stamping and die cutting. And then you're just going to push it through, push it through candy. Wait a minute, I don't have it lined up. I was way off there. Mm, turn, turn, turn. There we go. Now, when you do put it through, you wanna make sure that you kind of feather these pieces back because if you have them all lined up at the same at the edge, it definitely won't go through. It's just kind of too heavy or too thick, too fat for it to go. There we go. La, la, la. You could sing a song while you're putting it through. I like to um, just hum, mostly because I don't know the words. So I would normally just hum some songs and um, entertain myself, or I usually have my echo machine playing and I'm in here really rocking out to like some Jethro Tull or uh, like Beach Boys. <laughs> Anything from the 70s, I love it. Okay, so here we go. We got our little um, horseshoes cut out and now I need to cut out my hay. So let's cut out our hay and then we'll be done with the die cutting. So I wanted you guys to see this because I don't know if, I mean, I normally don't do a lot of demos where I'm actually cutting. I normally cut it ahead of time, but it is nice for people to see candy, die cutting, everything on Facebook Live, right? So that way you can see it for yourself live in action. And now it's done. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, I really humor myself. All right, next, let's get this part out of the way. And we will finish putting this cute little card together. So here's my sample again that I'm working with. We have our two little horseshoes and our hay. So we're going to go ahead and finish the inside of the hay, put that down, and then we can close the card and work on the other part. So here is this. Like so. Very, very easy. And then this. So what I found when I was putting this together the first time was this tag is actually kind of big. And if I put it too high, then it's like my horseshoe's in the way. So I had to measure it out. I'm gonna put my first horseshoe down, but before I could put this tag on, I did have to measure kind of where I was gonna put this because like I said, it's that the horseshoe was bigger than I thought. It's a big horse and it has big feet or hooves. And therefore we have to watch that we don't uh, mess it up. So I do, I will pop this up, but if you notice on my card, when this one closes, it's right above the cowboy. So on this one, that's where I can have that too. And I can bring it up just a little bit. Now I did glue the um, tag down flat and then I glued and only part of it because I don't want to shut my card. <laughs> You guys laugh when I say that, but I have actually done that before. So I'm just trying to keep you from my mistakes. <laughs> oh, let's push this back just a little bit. Mm, just a little bit more. I'm looking at my other sample. There we go. That looks perfect. So now that's on there. And then we're going to pop this last horseshoe up. This is where these mini dimensionals come in super, super handy. So let's pop it up, pop, pop, pop. And, you know, 
I probably didn't need that many, but but I have a whole sheet here, so I may as well use them. So we are going to pop this up and it's going to sit like that. I just want to make sure I didn't kind of mess it up, but it's, it's going, whoops. And taking off these little pieces is all good. And then now look at this. We're almost done with this card. I love this set. Did I mention that yet? Oh, maybe I did a few times. And then look, bing. I love it. And you know, you could, you could just sign your name here or put another piece on the back if you wanted to actually have like write an entire note or just tuck it in. Um, I'm looking for my little pearls. Here they are. But either way, I just think it's adorable. And that's why. Oh, I'm not done. I forgot my star. So I have my little element there for the center of our windmill. And then I forgot my stars that I brought out. Oh, my stars. I forgot my stars. How do you open this thing? I wasn't trained. Okay, so these element stars, like I said, are very, very cool. And they're the um, copper color. So I can bring that right on top of that other star that Stampin' Up! so nicely put on that stamp. And now I have a very cute card. You can make this into a birthday card and even make it for a child um, or a large child, uh, an adult child <laughs> that um, would probably love something like this too. It's a cute guy's card. It's a cute girl's card. It, it can be either or. And the colors are super simple. Super cute. All right, next. Lastly, yes, we're on to the last project. So this is going to be my favorite. Well, I love them all, but... Um, and I only like slightly put it together. So I'm very hopeful that it all, it all comes out fine. <laughs> so I used again, again, the good taste carry paper that's being carried over in good taste. And I used a piece of our, um, night of Navy, uh, 12 by 12. And I glued it on already. Cause I had so much laying around on my table. I just had to start gluing things. So I came up with um, using this paper, the Knight of Navy, and I want to show you what I came up with because it, it is really cool. So this is my sister-in-law who used to live in Pennsylvania, and she used to do a lot of writing, and it was cutting was what she did. And I know nothing about horses um, other than the little bit that she taught me. So, so this was her cutting, and I always have my camera. So, of course, I'm running around taking pictures, this was many years ago when my boys were small. They used to live in Pennsylvania and they now live in Alaska, but, um, but she always loved her horses. So we went one day and spent the day and she was out riding and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So here we go. So I have my first picture, it's a four by six. So I just cut my mat at four and a quarter by six and a quarter, kept it very simple. And then I have a piece of um, Cajun craze, and I am going to glue the Cajun craze down here, but first I wanna build some things underneath it. So I have a little bit of the DSP from the same pack that we just talked about, and I am going to go ahead, I just wanna lay it out so I make sure I get everything where I want it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing these pieces down. That way, um, as I eyeball it, I make sure it's where I want it. So these were just, I loved this layout. I did another one years ago using some other photos from friends. Was well, not a Western style one, but it was really cute. And I loved it. So I wanted to go ahead and use that this this time around. Sometimes if you're a scrapbook, if, are you a scrapbooker? Let me know if you love scrapbooking. I'd love to know who's out there that is a scrapbooker. Hello, Nancy. And I see Deb. Um, but I would love to know if you do love to scrapbook because that actually was my first, my first piece of crafting back in California, way back when the kids were little. 
I got into a lot of scrapbooking. Okay, so that looks straight. So if you want the measurements for this, I will have it later on my website. I did not. This is just kind of a, I put it together. All right, so this piece is going to come down here. This piece will cross over this just a smidge. And then I have some fun, cute photographs. And this little banner will come down like that. So again, just using scraps out of the DSP that we just used, that we've been using all along, I should say. And then this will all go together. So I brought, I had found a whole grouping of these photos. We used them one year for a Christmas card. So I had a whole stack of them and I'm like, okay, well, I showed you how to make the card earlier. And now I'm going to show you what I did with my scrapbook page. So I just cut it down. I know this piece here is, um, well, I'm going to say I know. It's three inches by 11. So it was just a quick little um, cut some little pictures out and put them on. So here was another cute little photo. The horse. And this one is Jonathan. These are my two boys, Anthony and Jonathan. Jonathan's the older, oldest. Okay. And then this piece, I feel like I have glue on my hands. Then this piece I popped in was a, um, a piece of the Night of Navy to kind of pull it all together. So let me know again if you're a scrapbooker because I love to scrapbook. Do you or are you more of a card maker? Let me know because I forgot to tell you guys. More comments, the more you're going to win. I actually have, well, I just made these two cards, but... So I actually have two of each one of these cards to give away, and I would love to mail it to you, but you have to make comments so that I can pick somebody based on um, random, I'll do a random number pick when I go down it, but you have, the more comments you make, the better chance you have to, to um, get the cards. Okay, so this piece I had am putting on here, but I went ahead and stamped it earlier, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down. It says, life is a journey. Again, this is just like the card, enjoy the ride. So I thought, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. And I wanted to just put it on. Hello, Karen. And I had already stamped it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. So on this one, I also have stamped and die cut out a couple of horseshoes. And again, when I had it all laid out, instead of me making two pages of the same, I just lay it out and then I go ahead and glue it together, which makes more sense, right? And then I actually was hoping to come up with a second page for this. I've been scrapbooking, like I said, a long time, but when I do it, I like to have two different, um, the two different pages. So it's nice when you get to see a double layout, like a two page spread. So I'll have to um, come up with that. I definitely have the picture sitting over there and I was ready to do it, but I just ran out of time this afternoon because of course I told you guys I'm a procrastinator and I just got all my pieces ready for my cards that I had promised you and Kind of at the last minute I threw in the scrapbook page. So at least I got one done. And I'm very thrilled with how it came out. So we'll add on our little horseshoes. And pop one of these up. Which just gives it a nice little look. Oh my goodness. I love this. Okay. So all of this is glued down. Not this. And not this, but let me see. If I move that over just a little bit. And then this piece will get glued right about there. Okay, so don't go away yet because I have one really, really cool thing that I want to show you. And, um, and I think that you are going to really, really just be so excited. Stamping Up has a product Wait, I have to glue this down. I think I need to glue, at least glue this down. Um, Stamping Up has a product in the catalog that I honestly didn't know. I had never used it. 
So I ordered it and I have it and I've used it. And so I wanna share it with you in case you have not heard of it or used it, I should say. So let me get this glued. Hopefully that's low enough. And then I'm gonna glue down a little tag. Oh, that's right. That is gonna come right about there. But it's funny because the picture's at an angle. I can't tell if my tag is straight. It looks straight. And then I have a little bit of stamping here that I'm gonna do. And I have the, um, where is it? This one. Uh, see what happens when I try to clean up before I'm actually ready to clean up? I moved everything out of my way and I can't find it. Okay, so I have this, the wording that says blaze your own trail again. And I'm going to use this on a piece of vanilla. So when you're cutting down your cardstock, I love keeping, I probably keep too many scraps, but I love keeping these scraps because I can um, use them for little things like what I'm gonna show you, this little tag. But then I'm gonna tell you about that product I was telling you about. So they're adhesive foam sheets. And in just a moment, I'm gonna show you how they work because it was a real hidden gem in the catalog and I had no idea. So back to my page, I did a little tag that I will pop up right here because I felt like it was, um, that brown just kind of got lost. That craft color, sorry, this craft color. So I wanted to just pop this up here because I thought that looked really good when I was playing with it earlier. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna show you how I put some letters on for my heading. So let's put this down here, like so. That's straight, looks straight, okay. And then this will come like that. And I am gonna go ahead and just pop that up because I can. I know it has some other pieces popped up, but boy, won't that look nice? Say, sure, Candy, it'll look great. Super great, right? And you know what I love about this? Look at all the dimensionals I get to use. <laughs> some of you guys that don't like to use that many are probably going, oh my God, what is she doing? But you know what, I have it. You get 300 in a pack of dimensionals, so go ahead and use them is what I say. Pop it up. Pop up everything. Life is a poppin'. Okay, give me one second and I'll have these off of here. And then I will show you these adhesive foam pieces. And I don't wanna keep you much longer because I bet some of you are getting hungry. It's dinner time. Okay, so here is this and it is going to go just like so okay what do you think thumbs up do you like it all right so far so good now for the last of this again i'm going to tell you about these foam whoops look at that i have these silly things these foam adhesive sheets and the way these work is you can actually die cut out your letters in this foam adhesive sheets, and then they'll be very thick and pop up. So what I did was put, you you can put the paper on it, the um, DSP. So you put the paper on to, here, let me explain this. You pull off your sheet, your adhesive piece, and then you stick on your designer paper onto this, which is what I did here. Hey, Dina, Dina. And then, so I, I glued it on because you just peel off the topping, glue it on. And then now every one of these become a sticker. Ah, and they are unsticking. So let me put that down there. So each one of these become a sticker. So I'm going to, and they have just a little bit of designer paper on it. Can you see it? Is it focusing? Kind of, sort of. All right. So what I did was I have die cut these out, 
but I also have, and I'm looking at my table. Oh, here they are. I have a little star, and the star is going to go right in between my yeehaw. But I don't want to pop it up yet because I have to still kind of measure. So we are going to do a little yeehaw. So I need to have my ha before my ye. And that way I can make sure that it's all measured. So I don't know if you've ever had to have your ya before your ye, but I am because that's how I'm rolling today. So almost done. I'm going to put my ye ha. Come off of there. Oops, you can't see. And then here's my E's. So my little E will be there. My next E. This is going to be down because it's the sticker pieces came off. So I'm I'm committed. So there's my Y. And there's my Ha. May as well put that little star down. And then I'm going to take the backing off of these. Boy, these dimensional pieces are just flying everywhere, aren't they? Now I don't. Now I have my Y before my Ha. <laughs> and they just have a little bit of that paper on it with the DSP, which is super cute. Get that center out of there. I don't know if you guys have heard of this or noticed it in the catalog, but um, I'll tell you what page it's on, too, because it's really, it is so cool. You can die cut flowers and pop them up on your cards. You can do all sorts of things. But this is on page um, 162. These are number 12. These are the adhesive sheets, and so they're right here, um, $8.00. And you get six sheets. They're four and a half inches by four and four sixteenths. So they're basically like four and a half inches around. And so they're a little smaller, but you don't you don't need a lot. It's it's gonna work. So we have our yeehaw. It's it's not perfect, but it's working for me. So let me go ahead and finish with my little dimensionals. And I did use again the stitched stars. These are so cute. So we'll put down a couple little stars. And I do have a string that I will tie across the top to make it look more like a banner. So I hope you love my um, yeehaw today, my, my banner. It's kind of going off at the top there, but it's cute, it's cute, it's cute. And I like it. Um, I hope you like it. And I'm going to add my little bit of string that my, I was going to like kind of string it, but I think right now I'm going to have to lift and tuck them under. So I won't do that until I'm done with my live. But just so you have an idea, that's kind of my thought was to make it a little banner. So I'm going to try to make it more swoopy. But anyways, that's my page. I'll finish the string later because it looks like that's going to take me some time. But I hope you love my scrapbook page and get out your photographs and start scrapbooking. Get the stamp set because it's so stinking cute. There's a lot you can do. And you guys, this DSP is the best. So let me bring back the cards and bid you all a farewell. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be back next week on 421 for the next, at 411, for the next little bit of some stampin' fun. So thank you again, and please leave me some comments. I would love to give these cards away. Thanks, Deb. I would love to give these cards away, so um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, and if you're a card maker or a scrapbooker, because that is also some really cool information for me. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend, and we will see you soon. See you next week. Bye.